Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all well and welcome to another episode on the channel. In this episode we're going to be doing some rock mining and we're going to go and do this mining on Magna. Normally we do it over at Crusader on Daymar, but I feel like a little bit of a change because I've never actually done it on Magda at all. Um, but first things first, we've got to go rent the Cutlass Black and the ROC Miner. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, we're back at Arc L1 and in the refinery, and as you can see we're at the rental screen. What we're going to do now is, just like in the last video, we're going to go ahead and rent a Cutlass Black, and we're also going to rent the Rock um, Miner as well. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, the Rock Miner is 4,299, so it's not too bad. We're going to rent that for a day, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and rent the Cutlass Black as well. So that's what, 38, 39,000 altogether. Not too bad at all. Uh, and the reason we've got a little bit less money at the moment is because we went ahead and bought ourselves a Corsair from Lawville. So yeah, absolutely loving that ship so far. It's absolutely amazing. On screen right now is again a list of everywhere you can go to get these, uh, these rented items or the rented ship and Rock Miner. Um, you can get the Cutlass Black from the cargo centers, but you can't get the ROC Miner, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, just uh, just get the Rock Miner from uh, refineries. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and uh, get to Magda, and then let's begin doing some rock mining. All right, guys, now that we have made it to Magda, what you want to do is look for HDMS Perlman or HDMS Han, which is just down here. Both of these are mining facilities and you can get your rock miner from either one of them. Uh, if you are doing this in Crusader, what you want to do is look for a Shubing mining facility. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and grab this rock miner. All right, guys, now that we've touched down at the mining facility, what you want to do is locate the building with the blue antenna and the two pads outside. Head over to the ASOP terminal, Welcome wait for to it to ASOP load. Once it's loaded, click on the gray cat rock miner Click Retrieve, Stand by. and in theory it should drop down right in front of us, and there we are. Alright guys, now we've retrieved the Rock Miner, we just need to store it neatly away into the Cutlass Black. It is a little sensitive, so just be careful and take your time doing it, and make sure obviously you leave yourself enough room to get in and out and around the Rock Miner. Alright guys, so the next step is to push V on your keyboard, that will bring up a scanner. Then go and scroll up on your mouse and it will set it to 180 and then you can scan everything in front of you. Then go ahead and push tab on the keyboard and it will send out a ping. Now we've already found something here for the benefit of the video that's not, well not in front of us, it's slightly off screen. So we'll go ahead and ping it again. And as you can see there is something 2,190 meters away. Now this is uh, an RS signature of 6,200. Now it's a multiple of 620. Um, so five, uh, well, ten times six twenty is six thousand two hundred. So yeah, this is basically gems. This is what you want. And what that you can do to confirm it is just go and zoom in a little bit more. So it's two point, uh, well, two degrees, sorry. And then go ahead and sort of ping again, and then it will show you a little tiny cluster there. All right, guys, we found ourselves some juicy hadnite here, which is absolutely awesome. As you can see on the left, you're on well in the optimal range, which basically means if you're too close and you go into the overcharge, as you can see on the right there, if you blow up, it can actually blow you up as well. So there is a little bit of risk to this mining. Um, and also as well, uh, the value of hadnite as well is absolutely you know the best. It's 275 per gem, whilst aphrite is 153 per gem, and dolivine is 130 per gem. So yeah, you're definitely wanting to look out for the hadnite. I tend to just grab anything and everything that I find. So uh, so yeah, but let's go ahead and start mining anyway. All right, guys, so we've just repositioned ourselves a little bit here. To get the mining head out, what you want to do is push M on the keyboard and then go ahead and push left click on the mouse and then it will bring out the laser. And then what you want to do is Alt and then use the mouse wheel and scroll that up and then you'll start to see, hopefully, that the charge uh, level goes up with the laser intensity. And you don't want to go into that overcharge, as I say, because then you start to risk the, uh, well, run the risk of basically exploding the rock, potentially exploding the ROC mine that you're in and killing you as well. So we're just going to go up nice and steady here. It is going up pretty quick, so we'll do drop that laser intensity down just a tiny little bit. Some people like to turn it right up, right off. Oh, we've gone into the overcharge. Drop it down. Back up. It's quite sensitive. Had nights a lot more difficult, shall we say, than some of the other stuff, but it's not too difficult once you get used to it, really. Let's drop it back down again. And then that's the rock. It should be exploding. And as you can see, then, all the little diamonds are out now so what we can do is go ahead and scoop all of those up so what you do is you right click on the mouse and then it will start to scoop them up sometimes it does throw them behind you so you do have to kind of go around and sort of pick up the loose ones that are behind you it's a little bit frustrating but uh but yeah it's not it, it, it's worth it in the end because had night is worth quite a little bit of money so 
All right, guys, what I'm going to do is go ahead and mine the rest of this, and then I will get back to you when we need to go and sell it all. All right, guys, we've landed at Perlman. Now, what we can normally do, unfortunately, it bugged out because I just tried to do it a second ago. Um, you can normally access the ROC and put it into your vehicle and sell it from there. But in this case, we're unfortunately going to have to actually sell or get the ROC out to sell this. Um, it's just some way of doing it a little bit quicker rather than having to get the actual you know, vehicle outside. But uh, never mind, we'll go ahead and do that anyway. And then we'll get into this seat right here. There we go. Be very lovely. Thank you very much. But yeah, you can just access the back and you can just transfer the Had Knight from the ROC straight into the uh, back of the ship. But for some reason, it's bugged out a little bit there. But it's fine. We'll move this out anyway. It's just a little bit quicker doing it that way. You don't have to worry about getting the vehicle out or anything like that. I mean, is it still bugged out there? Yeah, it's still bugged out, unfortunately. So what we're going to do then is go ahead and head over to this building here with the, the antenna on again. This is where you sell everything. Um, normally, you'd just you know be able to access the ship and sell the Had Knight, but... You know, as I say, for some weird reason, I don't know what's going on there, but it is what it is. We'll, uh, it didn't take too long to get it out anyway. So head over to the commodity shop over here. And then over here, what you want to do is go and find the ROC. There we go. We couldn't sell, uh, sorry, we couldn't farm all of the Had Knight, unfortunately. For some strange reason, the rocks bugged out and I couldn't get it all. So we got 47.8k from that one run. We probably would have got about... I would say probably between 68 and sort of 80 odd if we could have done those last few rocks, but unfortunately we couldn't. But this is paid for the rental anyway, and that's kind of just to sort of, you know, this video was just to kind of showcase exactly how you did our RSE mining anyway. But yeah, we've paid for the rentals at least, but uh, we would have got a little bit more profit had the, uh, the other rocks, you know, allowed me to mine them. But yeah, anyways, waffling on once again, I always do this <laughs> every single time. Ah, I need to stop. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. Hopefully it helped you guys. And, uh, and yeah, I will uh, see you in the next one. So uh, stay safe and take care, guys.